long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there came a time of revolution when rebels united to challenge a tyrannical empire. Since its defeats at Hoth and elsewhere, the Rebel Alliance has rallied to press the empire hard. Interstellar war hangs in the balance, and all combatants feel that final decisive battle draws near. Preparing himself for this moment, Luke Skywalker has trained tenaciously and undergone many trials in his efforts to become a Jedi Knight and learn the ways of the Force. Now he has returned to the desert planet Tatooine where he was raised. It is here that Luke means to stake his life on an attempt to rescue his friend Han Solo from the clutches of the vile, slug-like gangster Jabba the Hutt. But before he is ready to face that challenge, or the greater perils that may lie beyond, he must finish one last task. So it is that the morning light of the planet's twin suns finds him in a hermit's dwelling, hard by the western dune sea. alignment must be precise if the energy beam is to maintain its density. Hmm? No, R2, I don't need you. I was just reading out loud. Talking to myself, I guess. It's what old Ben used to do, too, sometimes. That's one of the reasons all the kids around Anchorhead thought he was a sunstruck hermit. Must be something about being back on Tatooine, back in his house. Brings out the crazy old wizard in me, too. If you're saying I can talk to you, R2, thanks. But at the moment, I need to work on this little project. The sooner I get it done, the better. If 3 were here, I think he'd call this mindless tedium. Yeah, well, don't worry. We'll meet up with 3 and the others soon enough. I had to come back to Ben's house to do this. I needed his tools and his books. And it completes the circle somehow. <laughs> Adagan crystals are recommended for maximum density and purity. Yeah, well, I guess these will do. Okay. There. Almost. Got it. Go! <laughs> Not again! R2, get that focal lens for me. It slid under the workbench. I'm sure you're giving me a lot of helpful advice, my little friend, but this is something I have to do on my own. I have to know that I'm ready for this. Ready for what lies ahead. Thanks. I don't know, R2. Maybe this can't be done. Give me the book, R2. Last try. Either I'm ready for this or I'm not. The concave surface of the focal lens must rest within a two-degree arc of... What am I doing? I've read the instructions a dozen times. And a dozen times I've failed. Always with you, it cannot be done. Master Yoda, can I forget so soon? I don't need this. R2, hand me the superconductor. And now the power cell. And the crystals. There. It's done. Try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Here goes. <laughs>
grows strong. Yes, my master. I have felt it. Perhaps he should have been destroyed on Vespin. It is unlike you to fail in such matters, Lord Vader. He will not escape again. He can still be turned. I need only one more opportunity. I have other work for you, my friend. Our efforts near the moon of Endor have fallen behind schedule. Use your particular talents to encourage the engineers to make haste. Impress upon them the importance of meeting my every expectation. You have my permission to make examples. I shall leave at once, my master. As for Skywalker... He is not your concern. He could be a powerful tool, Lord Vader. My tool. But only if he serves my purpose. As you wish, my master. Those who do not serve my ends, no matter how powerful they are, will be eliminated. Are we clear on this matter, Lord Vader? We are clear. Excellent. Leave at once for Endor, and wait for me there. R2-D2, stop! I simply must rest for a moment. R2, you hold this very instant. That's more like it. You watch your language. Easy for you to say, keep it in gear. Hm. You know full well that all this wretched sand is hard on more technologically evolved droids like myself. How could Master Luke have ordered us out into these murderous wastelands alone? Surely he doesn't expect us to rescue Captain Solo without assistance. Are you certain your electromagnetic field sensors are functioning correctly? Then where is this palace of Jabba the Hutt? There's nothing here but sand and rock. <laughs> building? What building? Oh, that is scarcely what I would call a palace, Artu. It looks more like an iron foundry. Of course I'm worried. And you should be too. Lando Calrissian and poor Chewbacca never returned when they set out for that awful place. If I told you half the things I've heard about Jabba the Hutt, you'd probably short circuit. Perhaps there's been some mistake. Ah, let me hear the message Master Luke gave you to convey to Jabba. Classified? I am Master Luke's most trusted confidant. And I have no intention of arguing until my lubrication fittings clog up. Come along. Let's get this over with. What a forbidding place. Artu, are you sure this is the right spot? <laughs> uh, well, I don't see a comic terminal. I'd better not, I suppose. Nobody home. Come along. We'd better leave right away and inform Master Luke. Oh, 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 oh. Goodness gracious me, a monitor arm. Mind it doesn't poke out your photoreceptor, Artu. And you, uh, kindly watch where you're swiveling your macro scanner. Mind you, I'm thinking. Oh, um, uh, Artu de Toa, bo, uh, C3PO, eh, to star or Mishka Jabba Do Hut? Good, you won't find the gun. Oh, how rude. It withdrew without even saying good day. I don't think they're going to let us in, Artu. We'd better go. Oh. They're raising the portal. My goodness. It's very dark in there, isn't it? Arthur, wait! We're here for delicate negotiations. I really don't think we should rush into all this. Arthur, this is no time to be impetuous! Oh. 
gracious, it's like a darkened tomb in here. Wait, what was that? Gamorian guards! Oh, it would have to be those disgusting green ruffians. Just you deliver Master Luke's message so we can get out of here. Oh my, they're closing the portal again. Twilek? What Twilek? Well, oh. Uh, um, yes, I realize we have arrived uninvited, sir. I uh, presume you to be Biff Fortuna, Major Domo to Jabba the Hutt. I was told I would recognize you by your, that is your, magnificent cranial tentacles. Diwana Wa. Oh dear. Um, Diwana Wago. We bring a message for your master. The Jabba Wanga. Uh, that's right, Artu. And a gift. Gift? What gift? The Jabba no bad. Is I or to are too did to you the gift and the message? I'm not sure if our master would approve of such a procedure. My counterpart says that our instructions are to give these things only to Jabba himself. In person. The Chada Omoti. I'm terribly sorry, Artu is ever so stubborn about this sort of thing. No chance! No chance! Jabba's audience chamber is that way. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Come along, Artu. Artu. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Oh, my stars! What an appalling scene! No, R2, I have never seen a more sinister and depraved crowd. And I would think the rest of the galaxy safe, what with every thug, debauchered, and scofflaw I have gathered here. <laughs> well, yes, Jabba the Hutt would be that huge, slug-like individual on the dais, but I do not recommend you address him that way. Jabba, God, no passing my lord. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jabba, uh, coming, sir, uh, coming. Bosuda! Good morning, your magnitude. Uh, Artu, play Master Luke's message for our host. Greetings, Exalted One. Oh. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight and friend to Captain Solo. I know you are powerful, mighty Jabba, and that your anger with Solo must be equally powerful. I seek an audience with your greatness to bargain for Solo's life. <laughs> I'm sure that we can work out an arrangement which will be mutually beneficial and enable us to avoid any unpleasant confrontation. As a token of my goodwill, I present you a gift. These two droids, R2-D2, and C-3PO. What did he say? Both are hard-working and will serve you well. I await your decision. This can't be. The R2, you played the wrong message. Jabba, master, fagwad, it were not is no Jedi. There will be no bargain. We're doomed. Jabba declares that he will not give up his favorite wall decoration. He says he likes Captain Solo where he is. Oh, Artu, look! It's Captain Solo, still frozen in a slab of carbonite. <laughs> Oh no, Jabber is ordering them to take us into service. We are to be his slaves. Oh, oh no, 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 there's no need for violence. Oh, Artu, I do not agitate the Gamorreans. We, we will come quietly. Oh, oh dear. Oh, all right, I'm going. There's no need to shove. Oh. Are to stay close. <laughs> Set to the dungeons. What could possibly have come over our master? Could it be something I did? He never expressed any unhappiness with my work. <laughs> yes, I'm going. Oh, where? To that door? Oh, very well, since resistance is useless.
Oh, mercy. It's something out of a droid's nightmare. <gasps> Look, Hutty. They're branding the sole of that poor little power droid's feet. May the maker preserve us. What have we here? You are a protocol droid, are you not? I am C-3PO, human sight. Yes or no will do. Oh, and that is, yes. How many languages do you speak? I am fluent in over six million forms of communication and can... Splendid. Speak. We have been without an interpreter since Jabba got angry with our last one and disintegrated him. Disintegrated? Other units he melts or feeds into the grinder unit. Guard, this protocol droid might be useful temporarily. Fitting with the restraining bolt and taken back up to His Excellency's main audience chamber. Ah, oh, don't forsake me! Oh. You're a feisty little one. But you'll soon learn respect. I have need for an R2 unit on Jabba's sail barge. You'll fill in nicely, or else. This restraining bolt will cause me to short circuit before long if I'm not trampled by one of these ruffians first. Oh, why? There's Boba Fett. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm sure I don't deserve such a horrible fate. If only R2 will whip me. He's much better suited to this madness than I. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, what are you stepping? Me. I'm terribly sorry, man. All this boisterous behavior has quite upset my equilibrium. Mm. Oh, um, I see you are a dancing girl. I had no idea Jabber employed quite so many. I'm his latest acquisition. I've heard the girls make a lot of money dancing here. <laughs> At least the ones that survive till payday. Well, I hope your salary is more generous than your costume, Miss... Uh... You can call me Arika. Oh, and uh, I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations. I saw the show you and that R2 unit put on. You used to belong to someone named Skywalker? Indeed. And I'm sure there's been a grave mistake. Master Luke would never abandon us to this den of thieves. At least, I hope not. So you think Skywalker really will come for you? <laughs> now what? Jabba's calling on one of his dancers. That's Ula. If you've never seen a Twi'lek female dance, you're in for a treat. Yes, she's uh, quite flexible. She's Jabba's current favorite. I suppose that must be why he keeps her chained to his throne. It won't last. There's one dance she won't do for Jabba no matter how much he pays her. Oh my! He's dragging her towards him by the chain. She won't have much choice now, I'm afraid. Mm, she's putting up a good fight. From what I know of Jabba, he won't tolerate that for long. Oh, he's activated some sort of trap door. That poor creature is falling in. Is that a rancor? Oh, how horrible! Oh, oh. Won't somebody help her, Attica? Well, Attica? Uh, where has she got to? No, I, I, I can't look! Oh, that poor, poor creature. Oh, someone's shooting. Yeah, I'm right here, your enormity. Master Jabber demands to know... Who fired a weapon? Eate, Eate, whoosh, you too. Oh, preeminent Jabber, this interloper says that he is the bounty hunter Bush. He states that he has come for the bounty on this Wookiee whom he brings before you in chains. Oh no! Chewbacca! <laughs> Jabba proclaims, at last we have the mighty Chewbacca. <laughs> the illustrious Jabba bids you welcome, Bush, and will gladly pay you the reward of 25,000. You too, you too. Bush demands 50,000, no less. Please, Master, I'm only translating. Oh. But your voluminousness, why be angry at me? 
The mighty Jabber asks Boosh why Jabber must pay 50,000. I go to. Boosh demands it because he's holding a thermal detonator! <laughs> The awesome Jabber says that this bounty hunter is his kind of scum, fearless and inventive. The magnanimous Jabber therefore offers the sum of 35,000, and I do suggest you take it, Boosh. He agrees! <laughs> The exalted Jabber commands that Chewbacca be taken to the dungeons. More's the pity. Major Dobo Fortuna, it truly wasn't necessary to excruciate my circuits with a restraining bolt activator. But why are we all hiding back here behind the curtain? A surprise, Master Jabber, but how jolly. It's that bounty hunter Bush. But why is Bush tampering with Captain Solo's carbonite slab? And why would he activate the mechanism to thaw Captain Solo? The carbonite is melting away, but his hands are moving. It's working. Captain Solo survived. He's alive. Shh. sickness. I, I can't see. Your eyesight will return in time. Where am I? In Jabba's palace. Why are you hiding behind that helmet? Why do you de-ice me? Who are you? Someone who loves you, Han. Leia. Hmm. We'll save your strength, Han. I've got to get you out of here. Are you strong enough to stand up? Yeah. If it'll get me out of that big slug's filthy wallow. I know that laugh. The prestidigitary Jabba commands that the curtain be opened. Jabba. Jabba, Boba Fett, the whole sick crew, man. Jabba, look. I was just on my way to pay you back when I got a little sidetracked. It's not my fault. <laughs> this will be bad for business, John. Look, why can't we just... Sit down and straighten it all out. <laughs> the dungeons have no... Jabba, I'll, I'll pay you a trip. All right, let me go. Jabba, you're throwing away a fortune. Don't be a fool, Jabba. I'm on the level this time. <laughs> Jabba further commands that the Princess Leia be brought to him. I'm warning you, Jabba. We have powerful friends. You're going to regret this? The uh, voluptuary Jabber is unworried. He observes that the Princess Leia Organa looks 
That it looks good enough to eat. Oh, oh, get that tongue off me, oh, you repulsive, hot, degenerate. Oh. I can't bear to watch. How could Master Luke allow it to come to this? It's the end of us all. Oh, hey, what's this shoving? I said lay off. Stick and flat nose Gamorian boneheads. Real brave against the guy you can't see, aren't you? When my eyes come back online, I'm gonna find you, rip your horns out, and use them for coat hooks. Oh, my new accommodations, huh? Imperial suite? And Your mother's a set of matched luggage. Whew. Yeah, it smells like a prison cell, all right. Who's there? Uh, Who's there? Uh, Chewy? Uh, Chewy? Uh, wait, wait, I can't see, pal. What's going on? Luke? <laughs> Looks crazy. He can't even take care of himself, much less rescue us. He says he's a Jedi Knight. Oh, great. Leia tried to be a one princess rescue team, and now Jabba's got it. I'm out of it for a little while, and everybody's in delusions of grandeur. What do you mean Lando's here, too? Chewie, I need you. Don't start hallucinating on me. Okay, okay, don't get your fur all ruffled. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Oh, wait, go easy with the hugs. Huh? Crack ribs are a problem I can't do without right now. I'm all right, pal. I'm all right. What's that? Who's there? Just saying, the stench couldn't get any worse, Fett. And then you show up to make a liar out of me. What are you doing down here? Jabba getting you scrubbing the floors in your spare time? Or have you worked up the guts to shoot it out while I'm still half frozen? Come on, bounty hunter. You didn't come here just to stare. I've beaten you, Solo. Beaten me? You? Vader captured us. Jabba's got us. All you did was fetch and carry. Tomorrow I'll collect another bounty, and you'll be dead. I bargained with Jabba before. Don't worry about me. What about you? You still Jabba's little errand boy? Watch your mouth, Solo. I risked my tail to get you here. <laughs> Joey, I think you're right. We struck a nerve. I bet he's not as cocky as he wants people to think. In fact, he sounds just a little nervous to me. Are you nervous, Fett? Worried that we'll get out of this hole and track you down? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you die. You think a little thing like death's gonna slow us down? <laughs> You better be looking over your shoulder, bounty hunter, because sooner or later we'll find you. I'm going to rip your helmet off with your head inside. It isn't exactly warm. The chain pinches. The color changes. The old saying's right, Leia. Beauty can be a curse. So gallant. You'd flirt with your own executioner if she were a woman. Well, especially her. I might persuade her to botch the job. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid there's not much I can do for you. We don't dare risk another play until Luke gets here. I better make it soon. My dancing's not so good. If I have to perform for Jabba, I'm going to end up in the rancor pit a lot faster than Ula did. 
I hope Luke knows what he's doing. Things are getting hairier than a Wookiee around here. Don't be afraid, guards. I'm not here to do harm. Lower your weapons and move aside. Let me buy, I said. That's better. There's no need to raise the alarm. I can find my own way to Jabba's audience chamber. I know you to be Jabba's major domo, Bib Fortuna. I must speak to your master. She to say it. Jabba no to Zandahanko be no paga. You will take me to Jabba now. It will take you Jabba now. Good. You serve your master well. I saw the Balok. And you will be rewarded. Ah, you now you're trying. Master Jabba, Gabba no passe, Luke Skywalker. Master Luke, oh, at last Master Luke has come to rescue me. Luke, Luke, watch yourself. Don't worry, Leia, I'm just here to make Jabba see reason. <laughs> They're waiting your orders, a sublime Jabba. <laughs> Preponderant Jabba gave specific orders not to admit Skywalker. I must be allowed to speak, Jabba. Jedi must be in Kowi, Jabba. <laughs> Jabba berates Bib Fortuna for a weak-minded fool. He says Skywalker is using an old Jedi mind trick. Jabba, you will bring me Captain Solo and the Wookiee. <laughs> the impregnable Jabba says, your Jedi mind powers will not work on me. Boy. <laughs> Nevertheless, Jabba, I'm taking Captain Solo and his friends. You can either profit by this or be destroyed, but I warn you not to underestimate my powers. <laughs> the uh, unassailable Jabba replies, there will be no bargain, young Jedi. I shall enjoy watching you die. He asked why you came to his home without a lightsaber with which to defend yourself. I would hoped I wouldn't need weapons, Jabba, but a Jedi is never unarmed. <laughs> Master Luke, beware. You're, you're standing on a... <laughs> if you need to see me with a weapon, Jabba, will your guard's blaster do? Mm. I can call it from his hand to mine, like <laughs> so! Oh, 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 well oh, done, oh, Master Luke! Oh, oh, Jabba, do I have to use this thing, or have you seen enough? Luke, there's another guard behind you! <laughs> Blocking the chute, I can't get back up that way. Where is your blaster, Master Luke? Lost it on the way down. I don't see it anywhere. Go, sir. You must get out of the pit before the Rancor's cage door is open. Too late for that. You, guard, stand over here with me. Our only chance is to take the Rancor on together. Hit and run. Get back down here. The chute's blocked. You'll be cornered up there. Hurry, it's seen you! Hope that snack took the edge off your appetite, big fella. Guess not, huh? Luke, there's a club on that boulder behind you! Club? <laughs> big leg bone. Better than nothing, no, though. Where, sir? The Rancor is boxing you in! Yeah, no way to avoid him this time! <laughs> Luke, don't let him seize you! Now that you've got me, what are you gonna do with me? Let's see if you still feel hungry with this jammed in your craw! <laughs> 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 
Drop it like the biggest dead weight trap on Tatooine. Let's see. The skull of a previous dinner guest. This one do it. Sammy can't see you. What's happening? One throws all you're gonna get, Skywalker. Come on. A little closer. That's it. Just where I want you. Nothing. He's slain the rancor. Luke, are you hurt? So far, so good, Leia. Jammer is most distraught. Oh my. He has ordered that Captain Solo and Chewbacca be brought before him to share in your punishment. I'm afraid he's highly incensed. Fine. That makes two of us. Off us for two minutes, that's all we ask. Come on, Luke. Are you two all right? Yeah, fine. Right, Chewie? Mm -hmm. Except that somebody turned out the lights on me. I can't see a thing. So, here we are together again, huh? I just couldn't miss a party like this. How are we doing? Same as always. That dad, huh? Where's Leia? I'm here, Han. Thanks for trying to spring me, kid. You gave it your best. Dear, um, his high exaltedness, the great jab of the hut, has decreed that you are to be terminated immediately. Good. I hate long waits. You three will therefore be taken to the Dune Sea and cast into the pit of Carcoon, the nesting place of the all-powerful Sarlacc. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. In the belly of the great abomination, you will find a new definition of pain and suffering as you are slowly digested over a thousand years. No. And second thought, let's pass on it, huh? You should have bargained with me, Jabba. That's all this is the last mistake you'll ever make. <laughs> Jabba says, and so... I know. And so dies the last of the Jedi. It's been said before, Jabba. Jabba commands that the condemned be taken to the sand skiff, and that his sail barge be made ready for a voyage on the Dune Sea. Prepare a feast aboard Jabba's ship of the desert. Let great merriment attend the extermination of this, the last of the Jedi. Excuse me, sir. I, I wonder if you'd mind getting off my foot for just a moment. <laughs> Coming through there... With your permission, I'm terribly sorry. R2-D2. What are you doing here? Well, I can see you serving drinks, festooned with beverage dispensers like a vending machine. Have they done to you? And look at me. The motion of this tail barge has quite upset my equilibrium senses. I'm as sick as a tonton in a typhoon. I wish I had your confidence. All part of the plan. What plan? This is another of your fantasies, aren't you? Look, over in that sand skiff, our poor, brave master, bound and helpless, and Chewbacca and Captain Solo with him, all waiting to walk the plank. Sarlacc of the starboard bar, where? So that's the pit of Carcoon. Coming, O oh most festive Jabba. I fear the moment of termination is at hand. Wait! 
Where are you running off to this time? Take your position on deck. R2 acting like a spy will get you thrown down the Sarlax more too. I'll be right there, Master Jabber. Alas, and through the day, I'll be right there. Are we almost there, Luke? I'm getting real tired of waiting. Coming up on the pit of Carcoon now, Han. I think my eyes are getting better. Instead of a big dark blur, I see a big light blur. There's nothing much to see. I used to live here, you know. Well, you're gonna die here, you know. Convenient. Just stick close to Chewie and Lando. I've taken care of everything. Oh, great. Those and done gust out, Chewbacca. <laughs> hey, lay off my partner. He'll go so docile. Luke, careful, Lando. Don't draw their attention. Don't worry. Han's got the spotlight. Next one of you vegetable heads who touches this is gonna need prosthetics from the chin on down once we get our hands on you. Now you punk, All set, Lando. Ready, but look out for Boba Fett. He's been watching us from the sail barge. He senses something's up. I can handle him. Look, R2's in position on the deck. I don't like waiting to the last second to make our move. They won't free my wrist until I'm out on the plank over the Sarlacc. That's when Java's guard will be down. Right, you have an awful lot riding on one little astromech droid. It's not the first time. Are we at the Sarlacc's nest? What do you see? A great big funnel lined with teeth and tentacles. Big enough to swallow this skiff whole. No cup golf in the way. Victims of the almighty Sarlacc, his excellency hopes that you will die honorably. But should any of you wish to beg for mercy, the great Jabba the Hutt will now listen to your pleas. <laughs> Grapio, you can tell that slimy piece of worm-ridden filth you'll get no such pleasure from us. Right, Chewie? Mm -mm. Jabba, this is your last chance. Free us or die. Jabba commands that the plank be extended and Skywalker moved into position. Tis a lel chumpy buttock! Yes, Barada. Prisoner, hold still while I remove your bonds. This plan, Luke, it does involve us not getting eaten, doesn't it? Stay back with Chewie, Han, unless you want to walk the plank before I do. Hey, help yourself. Prisoner, step to the end of the plank. The redoubtable Jabba commands. Let Skywalker be cast into the Sarlacc. Give R2 the signal, Luke. Cut your way where he is. Now or never, chum. R2? R2? Now! Heads up, Luke! Got it! What's going on, Lando? Luke's back aboard. R2's tossed him his lightsaber. I know that sound. Just Chewie, heads are gonna roll now. Lando, grab your axe. Take the one in the back. I'm on her. What's happening? You know I'm still not getting a clear visual here. A little busy. Hey, Chewie says the barge is getting ready to fire on us with a pivot gun. Turn around, Chewie. Let's get those ropes off you. Luke, Boba Fett's firing a dead rocket pack. He'll be on us in a second. Let him come. That pivot gun's got us range. Lando. Lando's hanging from a line at the starboard rail. When I get your hands free, pull him back up while I take care of that gun. Yeah, but... anything. Just get these ropes on. And Chewie says watch for Boba Fett. Drop the lightsaber, farm boy, or I'll... And don't call me farm boy, bounty hunter. Incoming! Hit the deck! Chewie, where you hit? Talk to me. Try my capture cable on for size, Skywalker. <laughs> Even a lightsaber can't cut that alloy. Remains to be seen. Yes. I won't be a prisoner, you'll be a corpse. Hit the deck! What's going on? The cannon blast knocked out Boba Fett, but there's another sand skip coming our way. Lando! Hold up that rope, Han! I'll handle the other skip! Wait, wait, don't go! Skywalker, boarding party of one. Chewie! Yeah, don't move or you'll make that wound worse. I found a spear here. Just hold me in on Lando's rope. You're not still holding that Cloud City thing against me, are you, buddy? Ah, keep your boots on, Lando. I ain't coming. Where, Chewie? More to the left? What? Bubba Fat, where? Back on his feet. Which way, Chewie? <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I got it. Chewy, sound off. Did I get him? Where's Boba Fett? His jetpack went haywire, and now he's down the Sarlacc's throat, but how could that... Uh, Sarlacc's sizing me up for the Sarlacc. Ah, save it, Chewy. Lando, can you reach the end of the spear? Not if you're poking my eye out. You are still a sore at me, admit it. If I was, I'd be using the pointy end. Now grab hold. Lower it. I'm trying. <laughs> Took out that pivot cannon, but they got the deck gun firing now. Oh, oh, oh. Grab my ankles, Julia. Slip it. Good. Now hang on. We're fooling around out there. Something's grabbing my foot. I think it's the Sarlacc's tentacle. Grab this spear. You almost got it. Lando, try again. Gently now. All right. Easy, Chewie. The Sarlacc's got my foot. It's pulling me down. Chewie, pass me that gun. Lando, hang on. Hurry, give me the blaster. Got it. Okay, Lando. Don't move. No, wait. I thought you were blind. It's all right. Trust me. Aim a little higher. No, you're still too low. I don't need a consultant, chum. Now hold still. Pull away, Chewie! Pulls up! <laughs> the deck gun stuck firing. I think Luke got it. Could we concentrate on me just a little longer? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were getting soft, Calrissian. Up you go! <sighs> Look after Chewie. I'll get to the helm. Yeah, what about Boba Fett? He bounced off the side of the barge and went down the Sarlacc's gullet like a jet luge. He's finished. But was he dead? The way he hit that hull, his helmet's probably flattered in the Cloud City landing platform. He can't have survived. Well, I'm not leaving till I'm sure. Then <laughs> again, I can be flexible. But what about the others? They'll be here. Stand by, bear down, and hang on! If I understand correctly, your friends, Boba Fett just ricocheted off the hull plates and went plummeting down into the Sarlacc. Everybody's busy watching. Pass me that statuette. Certainly, your highness, but I don't understand why you want it. You will in a second. Stand back. But, Princess Leia, the instrument panel controls all the power circuits on the barge. Not for long. Oh, salacious crumb! Get away, you heinous little imp! What a torment he has made of my life. Sergio, go find R2. I need him to get this chain off but me. But what, what about that? I'll deal with him. Now, stand... That's mine! Oh, oh, your highness, you'll blow the barge apart with us aboard. Go get R2, fast! If the end is upon us... That's right, Jabba. You forgot one thing. When you put a slave on a leash, the other end is attached to you. Oh. Now you know how it feels to have cold iron around your throat, Jabba. Oh. Call for help all you want. Your fine pack of countries are too busy saving their own necks. Get away from the Arto is coming, your highness. We must... Oh, salacious. I'll save you, Princess Leia. Leave her alone, you mystical gnome. Here's your final payment, Jabba. You're out of business. Oh, to hurry. Cut the princess's chain. With your laser torch. That's what I can do. A formulation. Yes. Have to box around yes. the ears and we'll change your weight. There, there, there. Good. Uh. Got it. Come on. We gotta get a butt deck. Creepy, oh, come on. No, not my eye. Artu, get this odious little fiend off me. Help him, Artu. I'll meet you on deck. Beast. Well struck, Artu. Oh, my poor eye. Artu, what's to become of us? Exit strategy? What exit strategy? Why has no one told me anything about a rescue plan? Leia, over here! Luke, watch out behind you! Where are the others? 
waiting in the skiff, but we've got to finish off this part. Take the deck gun controls and point the barrel at the deck. I'm on it. Where are the droids? Here we are, Master Luke. Good. Get ready, R2. Move to the rail. Very well, R2, but only if you stop butting into me. It'll be all right, 3PO. Now hurry. But R2, where are we going? I couldn't possibly jump to the ground from here. Relax, 3PO. It's all part of the exit strategy. Lando will get us with a hoist. But R2, I don't want to be hoisted to the ground. Ready, Just let me grab this rope. We'll swing across to the skiff. Okay, grab me and hang on tight. When I kick the trigger, we go. Once that cannon fires, this barge is a goner. Feels kind of familiar, doesn't it? Practice makes perfect. Ready? Hold tight. <laughs> X-Wing, this is the Millennium Falcon. Luke, where are you? Can R2 get a Navi computer reading? No need, we're right behind you. Stick close, Luke. We're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, well, we never will be, flying at this altitude. We'll have to knock some Tuscan Raider off his bath then. We can't go for altitude yet. Check your long-range sensors and you'll see why. Oh. Imperial Battle Group. Mm -hmm. Star Destroyers, the worst. Just waiting to jump any rebel assault force that tried to rescue you from Jabba's. Which is why we had to go with Luke's plan. Sir, First Mate Chewbacca's wounds are stabilized and he is resting comfortably. He's a tough old cuss. He'll be up and around in no time. Luke, that blockade's holding the high ground. We'll have a better chance of tunneling our way off of Tatooine. Take a look back at Jabba's, Han. What? What is it? It, it looks like a flotilla lift in us. Smuggler ships, Corsair gunboats, slave transports, everything that can get into the air. You know why? Tell me. You can thank R2-D2. R2? R2 penetrated Jabba's data system. His toadies think the Imperials are coming for them with death warrants. So they're going to try and blast their way off world. And in the meantime, we slip out the back door. <laughs> a little Corellian overdrive, huh? <laughs> get ready, folks. Looks like the fireworks are starting up there. What a free-for-all. You ready to run for it, Han? Full bore, Luke. Pour it on and don't stop for anything. That's it. We're out of Tatooine's atmosphere. Talk to me, 3PO. What do the look-down sensors see? Imagery shows intense fighting at various altitudes, but we are clear of all pursuit. Gotta hand it to you, Luke. Right past an Imperial blockade without firing a shot. The Force was with us, Han. I'll see you all back at the fleet rendezvous. Clear skies, Luke. And don't be late. The Alliance will be assembling by now. I won't. R2, do try to restrain that impetuous nature of yours. Hey, Luke. Yeah, Han? Thanks for coming after me. Now I owe you one. R2, prepare to lay a course on the Nava computer. What, my hand? No, it's fine. A blaster shot just grazed it. No, no, it doesn't hurt. I don't let it. Okay, course plotted. Get ready to jump into hyperspace. That's right. We're going to the Dagobah system. I have a promise to keep. To an old friend. Trepio, what's holding up that hyperdrive diagnostic? I'm very sorry, sir. My damaged photoreceptor appears to be giving me a bit of double vision. Trepio, are you all right? Well... I'm sorry we couldn't let you in on Luke's rescue plan, Trepio. Oh, I quite understand the logic of it, Your Highness. My memory banks are more open to scrutiny than r When 99 scanned you and found no sign of subterfuge, it put Jabba off his guard. Corellian overdrive, Trepio. I'm not sure I fully comprehend that turn of phrase, sir. Corellian Overdrive is doing whatever you need to do to get where you need to go, 3PO. Including finagling the rules. Lying. Uh, Rejiggering the operational parameters. Stacking the deck. Hey, Corellian Overdrive doesn't mean cheating in an honest game. I seem to recall some angry card players who saw it differently, Han. Put that way, perhaps Corellian Overdrive was called for. And 3PO, 
Thank you for defending me from Salacious Crumb. It was very brave of you. Mm. Come on back to the tech station, 3PO. We'll see if we can't get your eye back in focus. That would be much appreciated, sir. Thank you. And thank you, Your Highness. Sure, 3PO. You're welcome, Han. Huh? Just making it easy for you. You are sitting there trying to figure out a way to thank me, aren't you? Oh, I, mean, I was getting to it. I was getting to it. And? Uh, but not a bad rescue for a princess. Compared to yours, you mean? How well planned the Death Star foray was, for instance. Well, you're not in that detention cell anymore, are you? You're not in that carbonite slab anymore, are you? All right, all right. And while you're replying in kind, what about the last thing I said to you in Cloud City? Just before Vader froze you? Well, a lot of that's you know, kind of blurry, Leia. Never mind. It'll come back to you. Uh, it looks like we're about ready for the jump to hyperspace. Well, I'm sure you can handle that. So if you'll excuse me, Captain, I'm going to go find some clothes that don't require a cabaret permit. Huh? Hey, uh, Leia? Gonna throw those ones away? We'll see. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Lando. A distinct pleasure, Princess. Uh-huh. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna throw on something a little more durable. Oh, a crime against art, Your Highness. I thought you were repairing 3PO. Yeah, me too. Chewie's handling it. So what do you think of your baby, Han? Supple and bewitching, isn't she? Hey! Don't push your luck, Lando. What's got up your afterburner? I'm talking about the Falcon. Oh. That. Put a lot of sweat and money into her while you were in cold storage. Well, the way I heard it, you almost wrecked her on course, can Oh, relax, pal. Give me a break, Lando. Letting 3PO fly the Falcon? We made it, didn't we? Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, let's just drop it. Navi Computer's got the course laid in for this jump to nowhere. Not nowhere, Han. Every ship the Alliance can scrape together is going to be there. For what? This little scrap coming up is going to be for the whole pot. Winner take all, Han. The Empire is working on a second Death Star. What? If they complete it, that'll be the end for the Rebellion. And I was hoping for a little R&R. &R. Afraid not. History won't wait. Well, if there's no way around it, no way back, we may as well get moving. Hang on. Lord Vader's shuttle has entered the hangar bay field. Colonel, what is the meaning of this? Battle station commander on deck. Why wasn't I informed that Lord Vader was coming? We received no advance word, Mark J. Jared. Lord Vader's shuttle simply arrived and... Never mind that now. Have your men stand ready. Greetings, Lord Vader. This is uh, an unexpected pleasure. You may dispense with the pleasantries, Moff Jeterod. I'm here to put completion of the Death Star back on schedule. My lord, my men are working as fast as they can. And still this battle station hangs here in the sky over Endor like a gutted moon. Perhaps I can find new ways to motivate your people. I tell you, the Death Star will be operational as planned. The Emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. But he asks the impossible. I need more men. Perhaps you can tell him that yourself when he arrives. The, the Emperor's coming here? Indeed. And he is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress. We shall redouble our efforts, my lord. I hope so, for your sake, Moff Jajarod. Our Emperor is not as forgiving as I am.
That face you made, Luke Skywalker. Look I so old to your young eyes? <laughs> no, Master Yoda, of course not. I do, yes. Sick have I become. Old and weak. When 900 years old, you reach. Look as good you will not, hmm? <laughs> Master, forgive me, but you mustn't talk like that. Soon I will rest. Yes. Forever sleep. Earned it, I have. But for now. <laughs> Lie down, I must. For weary am I. Master Yoda, you can't die. I speak not so. Strong am I with the Force, but not so strong as to defy death. Nor would I choose to be. Twilight is upon me, and soon night must fall. That is the way of all things. The way of the Force. But I need your help. I've come back to complete my training. This time I won't stop until you're satisfied. Until you've taught me everything I need to know about the Force and about being a Jedi Knight. No more training do you require. <laughs> you already know you that which you need. Then I am a Jedi. Oh, not yet. One thing remains. Vader. You must confront Vader. Then, only then, a Jedi will you be. And confront him, you will. Master Yoda, is Darth Vader my father? Mm. Rest I need, yes, rest. Yoda, I must know. I look to you for the truth, Master. Your father, he is the Dark Lord of the Sith. I told you this, did he? Yes, in Cloud City on Bespin. Unexpected this is, and unfortunate. Unfortunate that I know the truth at last? No, Luke. Unfortunate that you rushed to face him. That incomplete was your training when you confronted his power. And that not ready were you for the burden of this truth and the weight of this struggle. I'm sorry I let you down. I did what I thought I had to. I don't see how letting my friends be killed could be right. Whatever the future brings now, remember, a Jedi's strength flows from the Force. But beware. Anger, fear, aggression, the dark side are they. Once you start down the dark path forever, it will dominate your destiny. Luke. Luke. Master Yoda, you're slipping away. I can feel it. I can see it. Do not, do not underestimate the powers of the Emperor, or suffer your father's fate, you will. Luke. When gone am I, the last of the Jedi, will you be? You can't go, Luke. The Force runs strong in your family. Pass on what you have learned. Master, you can't cross over yet, please. Hear me, you must. Luke, there is... Another sk Skywalker. <gasps> Master, come back. Without your help, I'll fail.
What are two? No, leave all of Yoda's things here. They belong here. I can't do it, R2. I can't go on alone. Yoda will always be with you, Luke. Ben? You must bear in mind what Yoda taught you, Luke. Your destiny comes swiftly upon you now. Why didn't you tell me the truth? You told me Vader betrayed and murdered my father. Your father was seduced by the dark side of the Force. He ceased to be Anakin Skywalker and became Darth Vader. When that happened, the good man who was your father was destroyed. So what I told you was true, from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? Your father was betrayed and murdered by the man he himself became. Luke, you're going to find that many of the truths we cling to depend greatly on our own point of view. You let me think I was training to face my father's killer, not to slay my own flesh and blood? When I first knew him, your father was already a great pilot. But I was amazed how strongly the Force was with him. I took it upon myself to train him as a Jedi. I thought that I could instruct him just as well as Yoda might have. I was wrong. There is still good in him, Ben. He's more machine now than man. Twisted and evil. I can't do what you expect of me. You must face Darth Vader again. You cannot escape your destiny, Luke. I can't kill my own father. Then the Emperor has already won. You were our new hope. Our only hope. But... Yoda spoke of another. The other he spoke of is your twin sister. I have no sister. To protect you both from the Emperor, you were hidden from your father when you were born. The Emperor knew, as I did, that if Anakin were to have any offspring, they would be a threat even to Palpatine's vast power. That is the reason why your sister has remained safely anonymous. And yet sometimes I sense that other out there, her blood the same as mine. Someone I've never quite seen through the mist. Leia. Leia's my sister. Your insight serves you well. But bury your feelings deep down, Luke. They do you credit, but they could be made to serve the Emperor. Yoda felt Leia was another hope for defeating the Emperor. So he said. But your sister has had no training as a Jedi. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with being a Jedi. Maybe Leia has some destiny beyond the Jedi way. You mustn't deceive yourself, Luke, and you mustn't conjure up false hope. Vader's vision isn't clouded by sentiment, nor is the Emperor's. And if yours is when you face them at last, you will be destroyed. Your troops are ready, Moff Jeterod. The Emperor will be debarking from his shuttle as soon as it touches down, without further ceremony. Yes, Lord Vader. Greetings, my Emperor. I kneel before you and wait to execute your will. Rise, my faithful friend. You have hastened construction most effectively, and at such a paltry cost in life. The Death Star will be completed on schedule. You have done well, Lord Vader. And now I sense you wish to continue your search for young Skywalker. Yes, my master. Patience, my friend. In time, he will seek you out. And when he does, you must bring him before me. He has grown strong in the Force. Only together can we turn him to the dark side. As you wish. So shall it be. 
everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. <laughs> Come, we will repair to my throne room and give thought to other preparations. Your seat of power pleases you, my Emperor? It suffices of Jejeret. Now hear your overlord's command. What is thy bidding, my master? Send our sector star fleet to the far side of Endor. There it will stay until called for. But what of the reports of the rebel fleet massing near Celest? The Alliance's ragtag armada is of no concern. Soon the rebellion will be crushed, and young Skywalker will be one of us. Your work here is finished, my friend. Go to the command ship and await my orders. Yes, my master. And await, as well, the coming of the Alliance here into our very grip. Await the final crushing of those who oppose us. Await in good discipline the coming of Luke Skywalker and a magnificent new day for the dark side of the Force. If you'll all find your seats, please. Chief Counselor Mon Mothma and Admiral Akbar will be here momentarily to conduct the primary briefing. Would all assault wing pilots report to General Calrissian? Hey there, General. Ah, excuse me, I wanted to tell you if you ever need a double to trick the Imperials, I know this guy named Lando who looks exactly like you. What are you babbling about? Well, this fellow Lando's not a general, see? He's a ladies' man and a card cheat with a terrible <laughs> reputation. Yeah. Cheat? Every time you pick up an honest deck, the face cards start crying. Why, Lando, it is you! <laughs> hey, Leia, Chewie, come here and take a look at the man who's gonna pop the Death Star like a balloon. Congratulations, Lando. Don't pay any attention to Han, he's just jealous. When he went into the Carbonite, he was the best-looking pilot in the Rebellion. General Calrissian, you cut an extremely dashing figure in that uniform, if I may say so. Thanks, 3PO. So they made you an assault wing commander, huh, Lando? Uh, somebody must have told the general staff about my little maneuver at the Battle of Tanad. Oh, well, don't look at me, pal. I just said you were a fair pilot. I didn't know they were looking for somebody to lead this crazy Seats, attack. please. Seats! Well, Mothma, leader of our alliance, will begin the briefing as soon as we're ready. Leia, any word from Luke? No, but he won't let us down. The last communication from R2 indicated his presence in the Dagobah system. Slide over, Chewie. You're taking up three places. I'm surprised they didn't ask you to fly lead for the assault, huh? <laughs> no, well, who says they didn't? Well, I ain't crazy. You're the respectable one, remember? Shh, would you mind if we finish the rebellion before you two sort out bragging? Greetings to you all, my comrades in arms. Time is short, and so I'll direct your attention to the holographic display of the new Death Star. It's only half built. Looks like a rotted out metal tooth. For once, we're a jump ahead of the Emperor. The Emperor has made a critical error, and the time for our attack has come. The data brought to us by the Bothan spies pinpoints the exact location of the new battle station. We also know that the weapon systems of this Death Star are not yet operational. With the Imperial fleet spread throughout the galaxy, the station is relatively unprotected. Relative is right, when you're talking about Starfleet battles. But most important of all, we've learned that the Emperor himself is personally overseeing the final stages of the construction of the Death Star. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Admiral Akbar, if you will present the strategic overview to you. As this modeling shows, the battle stations orbiting the forest moon of the planet Endor. Although the weapon systems are not yet operational, this Death Star does have a strong defense mechanism. It is protected by an energy shield that is generated from a large installation on the nearby forest moon. Strong? Yeah, like a bonded armored wall, two parsecs thick? It does seem impenetrable, sir. The defensive shield must be disabled by a ground commando operation before any attack on the Death Star can be attempted. Once the shield is down, our cruisers will establish a perimeter holding any opposition at bay 
while our fighters fly into the Death Star's superstructure and knock out its main reactor. General Calrissian has volunteered to lead the fighter attack. Good luck, General. You're gonna need it. It hasn't let me down so far, Han. General Maydeen, if you'll recap the commando operation. Thank you, Admiral Akbar. We have stolen a small Imperial shuttle, the Tiderium. Disguised as a resupply ship and using a secret Imperial code, a strike team will land on the forest moon and destroy the installation there with demolitions, deactivating the shield generator and leaving the Death Star without its protective shield. I wonder who they found to go strolling into that nest of stormtroopers. Probably some sucker who lost a coin flip. The assignment sounds suicidally dangerous. General Solo, is your strike team assembled? Han? Uh, uh, yes, sir, my, my combat team's ready. Who'd you lose the coin flip to, Han? Yourself? Yeah, you could say that. And now look at me, a volunteer. General, I don't have a command crew for the shuttle yet. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be rough, pal. I didn't want to speak for you. <laughs> okay. That's one, sir. Uh, General Medine? Count me in, too. Well said, Leia. Um, while I would not wish to sound presumptuous, Your Highness, I must be included as well. Master Luke would expect no less of me. We couldn't get along without you, 3PO. Welcome uh, aboard, Goldenrod. Solo, by my reckoning, that leaves you one officer short for your command crew. Right, sir. I was thinking of asking Han. for both. I'm with you, too, Han. Luke! And I'll to meet her. Bye. It looks like the roster's complete, General Maybe. Time is short. Moreover, we must adjust our own plans to make up for the losses inflicted on us by Lord Vader at the Battle of the Baji Shipyards. So let us now conclude the overview briefing and divide into operational groups for final preparation. Look, what is it? What's wrong? Ask me that again when we have more time to talk, Leia. Commander Skywalker, you have a dramatic sense of timing. <laughs> Good to see you too, Lando. Luke! If I was you, I would have stayed away a little longer. Hi, Han. Chewy! I miss you too, old timer, but you don't see me cracking your ribs. Um, do I trust you've been comporting yourself in a responsible manner? Unfortunately, our problems aren't over yet. There are many ways of describing this situation, aren't but exciting is hardly the word I would choose. you to take the Falcon on this mission. What? I mean it. You need all the help you can get, and she's the fastest ship in the fleet. Thanks, Han. I know what she means to you, old buddy. Take good care of her. She, uh, she won't get a scratch, all right? Right. I got your promise. Not a scratch. The Falcon used to be mine, remember? I've flown that hunk of junk through more tough spots than you have. Well, this one will be the toughest, Lindo. Hey, what do I look like? I'm fresh off a moisture farm? I didn't say that. We'll be just... inside the Death Star and blow the reactor before the Empire even realizes we're there. Assuming you don't mess up. So, did you get going, you pirate? Clear skies, Lando. Thanks, Tony. Han, good luck. Chewie, that fake clearance code's causing static on the IFF transponder. Give me some signal clarification, would you? Okay, that's got it. You got it warmed up, Luke? Almost, Han. The flight decks on these Imperial shuttles are a little cramped for Chewie, though. I don't think the Empire had Wookiees in mind when they designed it. How's that right hand, Luke? You took a nasty shot back there on Tatooine. It's fine, Han. Fixing a bionic limb's easier than healing flesh and blood, I guess. Being part machine has its advantages. You know, we've got plenty of spare blasters, Luke. You don't have to limit yourself. To Thanks anyway, Han, but a lightsaber is the only weapon a Jedi needs. Huh. This thing's gonna come out right, Han. You'll see. We'll make it come out right. Yeah. Well, I wish I had the same confidence in the Force that you do. Well, for what it's worth, the Force seems to have confidence in you. For some reason, that doesn't make me feel any better. Yeah, I 
was just looking at the fog and I can't shake this funny feeling like I'm not gonna see her again. Pardon me, General Solo. R2 says Major Durden reports his commando secured for launch. Come on, General. Lift off time. All right. Chewie, let's see what this bucket of bolts can do. You ready, Luke? All set. All right, then. Hang on, everybody. Yes, R2. Here we go again. Detection perimeter now, Han. Cue up the IFF transponder, Chewie. Stay sharp. The Imperials don't go for this code. We're gonna have to get out of here quick. Another Death Star. Just the sight of it has my stress compensators in flux. Steady, 3PO. Shuttlecraft, we have you on our screen now. Please identify. This is Shuttle Tiderium requesting deactivation of the deflector shield. Shuttle Tiderium, transmit the clearance code for shield passage. Transmission commencing. Hit it, Chewie. <laughs> Here's where we find out if that code is worth the price we paid for it. It'll work. It'll work. Good gracious. Look at the size of that capital ship. It must be a hundred times as massive as the rest. Super Star Destroyer. What a monster. Luke, what's wrong? Vader's on that ship. Now, don't get jittery, Luke. There's a lot of command ships. Mm -hmm. Keep your distance, though, Chewie. But don't look like you're keeping your distance. Mm -hmm. I don't know, fly casual. Mm -hmm. Would this trickery fall under the definition of Corellian Overdrive, General Solo? Only if it works. They're not responding. They must be passing the clearance up the chain of command. They're not going for it, Chewie. Mm -hmm. I can feel Vader's presence. I'm endangering the mission. I shouldn't have come. It's your imagination, kid. So let's keep a little optimism here. Shuttle Tiderium. Deactivation of the defensive shield will commence immediately. Maintain your present course. Okay. No problem. Told you Vader wasn't around, Luke. You think he'd let us breeze in here if he was? I wonder. May we hope, General Soto, that the most perilous part of the journey is over. Well, hope away, 3PO. Oh. Of course, we have to set down without being detected, rig that generator installation to blow, and get out again before the Imperials come down on us. But outside of that, it's gonna be a pleasant little walk in the woods. Oh. Oh, yes. Endor is said to be a sylvan paradise of sorts, isn't it? That would depend on your definition of paradise. Paradise indeed. Watch where you're going, Artu. This timberland is difficult enough to negotiate as it is. What good is all this primeval beauty? It's the last thing we ever see. Keep it down, 3PO. Hold it. What? Everybody hunker down. Oh, Artu, I told you it was dangerous here. What's up, Han? Two Imperial scouts standing by their speeder bikes down in the clearing. See there? Should we try to go around them? Nah, that'd take time. This whole party will be for nothing if they spot us. Chewie and me will take care of this. You stay here. Take them out quietly, Han. There might be more scouts out there. What are you worried about? It's me. Try to have a little confidence there, Han. Oh, sweet. Come on, Chewie. It's nap time for stormtroopers. How can a man go through all the things he has and not learn any humility? Han's only got two modes. Frozen stiff in carbonite and full speed ahead. <laughs> They're over there. Han and Chewie, behind that tree. Get set to move up fast if they need help. Han's foot snapped a twig. Behind you! Back off, you! They blew it! Come on, Leia! Uh, no. Get your spear! Go for help! Right! The other one's getting away! Chewie, shoot him! Got it! Luke, to the right! Two more scouts! They're running for it! Okay, here's another speeder! We can catch them! Can't let them raise the alarm! Leia, wait! I'm coming with you! Come on! Here I come! Jim, they're calmly. That center switch. Got it. But we still have to stop those riders from sounding the alarm. Watch out for that bridge. No! <laughs> Got it. See us ride as well from the front seat, Luke. Watch out. Oh. Ah. Move up. Oh. Up alongside the one who's falling behind. Bump him if you can. Oh. Why? Ah. I'm going to jump it. Ready? Wait. Wait. All right. No. 
Trippio, tell Major Durlin to set up a comlink surveillance. Maybe if that jamming stops, we can eavesdrop on the Imperial frequency. At once, sir. Oh, General Solo, someone is coming. It's Master Luke. Han! Hey, Luke, where's Leia? What? She didn't come back? I thought she was with you. No, we got separated. Sirs, aren't you just informed me that the jamming stopped a short while ago? But there has been no comlink response from the princess yet. It was Leia doing the jamming. Han, we'd better go look for her. Right, you and me with Chewie to do the tracking. Tell Derlin we'll rendezvous at the shield generator. I'll get Chewie. General Solo. What? I strongly suggest you allow Artu and me to come as well. You'll need Artu scanners for the search. He's got a point, Han. You're on, 3 po Be ready to move fast. Don't worry, Master Luke. We know what to do. And you said it was pretty here. Good. No, my idea of paradise would be a coronation ceremony held in a cybernetics clean room. Oh, well. Artu, prepare to move in high gear. I'm not going to hurt you. See? No need to get your fur all ruffled. Mm. Last thing I remember, that Imperial shot me down and then punched his speeder into a tree. Well, looks like I'm stuck here. Trouble is, I don't know where here is. Maybe you can help me. Come on. Sit down over here by me. That's it. I promise I won't hurt you. Our reports didn't say Endor had intelligent life forms. You look pretty well fed, I'll say that for you. You want something to eat? Yeah, yep, yep. How about a ration bar? Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. No, no. Yeah, That's right. yep, yep. Here, take it. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Mm, good. Just let me get rid of this helmet and maybe I can take a better look around this place and get my bearing. What? It's just a hat. It's not gonna hurt you. Now you're a jittery little thing, aren't you? What is it? Is someone coming? Take cover! Keep your head down! Hey! Where'd you go? And Dorian... Freeze, or I'll fire. <gasps> okay, 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 don't shoot. Hand over the blaster. Okay, here. Right. Unit four, go get your speeder and take the prisoner back to the base. Yes, sir. 
And you, don't move a muscle or... Ow! Oh, hey, what the creeping crow... Sorry, private! <laughs> but here's where we part company. Thanks, old guy. Stay down. I gotta get the other one. Look out, fella! Got him! At least the Empire hasn't gotten the alarm yet. Yeah, if you're saying we gotta get out of here fast, I'm with you, little guy. Lead the way. You know, you're looking better to me all the time, short, round, and furry. Enter. Enter, my friend. It is always good to see my strong right arm. Thank you, my master. I bow before you in obedience. Obedience, you say? Yet I told you to remain on the command ship to carry out my order. A small rebel infiltration force has penetrated our energy shield and landed on the sanctuary moon of Endor. I am aware of it. My son is with them. Are you certain? I have felt him, my master. Strange that I have not. I wonder if your feelings on this matter are clear, Lord Vader. They are clear, my master. I sense that Skywalker has grown strong in the Force. That is of no significance to me. Go to the Sanctuary Moon and wait for him. When he comes, bring him here before me. As you wish, my master. Even so. And here I shall either make Skywalker my own, or I shall destroy him. Luke! Luke, get over here! What is it, Han? Did you find Leia? Oh, Master Luke, if only we had. Her speeder's behind that fallen tree, totally. There's two more wrecked speeders back there. And I found her helmet. Leia must still be alive. It's the only explanation. But I'm afraid that our two sensors can find no trace of the princess in this vicinity. What about Chewie? Can't he track her? What, Chewie? Uh, yeah, he says something else has been here. Something besides stormtroopers. Whatever it was, it left no tracks when it was done. Yeah, Chewie thinks it covered Leia's, too. Oh, dear. You mean something is stalking the princess? That doesn't make sense. Why would something... What, Chewie? Well, let's go see. He says he's picked up a scent. Over here. He's right. There's something there. I think he's found it. What? <laughs> What is this thing? I don't get it. It would appear to be an animal carcass hung from a wooden pole. Someone's lunch. <laughs> if it is, it doesn't say much for their appreciation of the fine dining experience. No, I don't want to taste it. Chewbacca, step away from it. No, don't touch it. Chewie, wait! It's a trap! Oh, nice work, Chewie. You got us snared in a net trap. One would suppose a 200-year-old Wookiee to have learned a measure of self-restraint. Great! Right. Always thinking with your stomach. Will you take it easy? Let's just figure out a way to get out of this oversized string bag. Oh, Han, can you reach my lightsaber? Yeah, of course I can. Oh, no problem. I'll be right with you. Arthur, what do you mean, you'll handle this? Artu, I'm not sure that cutting the bottom of the net open with your circular saw is at all a good idea. What's he doing? all, Artu, from up here, it's a very long time. <laughs> Me too, Chewie. I must have hit my head. Is it my imagination? Or are the bushes moving? It's not your imagination, Han. What in the starry-eyed universe are those things? Hey! Point that spear someplace else, you furry butterball. Hunt, no blasters. They've got us covered from all sides. Captured by a pack of axe-waving gremlins. Sure, I'm never gonna sure. live this down. Hey, hands off the blaster! Calm down, Han. It'll be all right. Here, you can have my lightsaber. All right. Here, take the gun. Chewie, give him your bowcaster. Uh, R2, where's 3PO? 
We need a translator. I think he landed in those ferns. My head. What a nerve-shattering plunge. My equilibrium compensators. Oh, my goodness. Gracious Master Luke, who are these rotund, hirsute little beings? Well, that's what you're supposed to be telling us. Oh, well, um... Well, I shall inquire. Frito um, Dogra. Is Soyoto a Muno Noka? Repio, do you understand anything they're saying? Oh, yes, Master Luke. Remember, I am fluent in over six million forms of communication. What are you telling them? Hello, I think. I could be mistaken. These creatures seem to call themselves Ewoks. Ewoks? Why are they all bowing and crooning to you, Goldenrod? They're using a very primitive dialect, but. I do believe they think I am some sort of god. <laughs> well, why did you use your divine influence and get us out of this mess? I beg your pardon, General Solo, but that just wouldn't be proper. Proper? It's against my programming to impersonate a deity. Oh, no problem. I'll just open you up right here and do a little field <laughs> modification on you. Easy, hon. A stone arrowhead will kill you just as dead as a blaster. Hey, sorry, boys. My mistake. He's an old friend of mine. What are they doing, 3PO? Tibo, the war party leader there, and has decided to take us back to their village. <laughs> they are building a sedan chair on which I will ride. And sorry to say, sir, they are also preparing carry poles on which they will lash you and the others. Oh, no, nobody's tying me to a pole. On the whole Death Star attacks riding on what we do now. <sighs> All right. All right, but I don't have to like it. Hey, watch it, will you? Village in the treetops. Oh, isn't this splendid? Wooden bridges in the air and homes carved from tree trunks. <laughs> oh, how quaint that Ewoks traveling on a swinging vine. Oh. Well, the view's less impressive for those of us hanging upside down, oh, almighty talking box. What now, 3PO? Well, we have reached the village square, Master Luke. Our fate is to be decided by Logre, the village farmer. Hey, what's going on? Why are they propping me over a fire pit, 3PO? I have no idea. Uh, shall I ask, sir? I have a really bad feeling about this. 3PO, who's this coming? That, sir, uh, is Logre the shaman. Oh. Uh, um, as I understand it, Master Luke, the forest has been invaded by stormtroopers. The Ewoks presume you to be enemies. Uh, excuse me. Uh, toyam na? Uh, toyam no. But to go. Mkutrum appears. Sure. What's he saying? I'm rather embarrassed, General Solo, but it appears you are to be the main course at a banquet in my honor. What? And you are to are to be reclaimed for usable scraps. <laughs> Don't blame me, that's how Rob rephrased it. So Luke, time to get undiplomatic yet? There's always time for that, Han. Only if you're captured by vegetarians. Han? Luke! What are you doing here? Leia! Hey, Princess! I see you finally let your hair down. Looks good. Tebow, Lagre, this is all a misunderstanding. Tebow, you've got to release them. Stay back, Leia. Tebow, no. Put the spears down. Back away, Leia, before you end up on the buffet table, too. Lagre, these are my friends. 3PO, tell him Luke, Han, and the others must be set free. Um, Gokta Toto. Kini Chatotomo Tipip. Somehow I get the feeling that didn't help us very much. They're stoking up the cooking fire. 3 po tell them if they don't do as you command, you'll become angry and use your magic. But Master Luke, what magic? I could possibly... Just tell them. Hmm. Away, Manukutu. Toronto gosh. Toronto gosh. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Luke, aren't you even going to watch what happens? Don't distract him, Han. He's calling on the force. Well, he'd better, because Lagre's not buying it. And the, the flames are already at charbroil temperature. You see, Master Luke, they didn't the gravity believe that me. holds us is a tenuous bond. Just as I said they wouldn't. Wait. 
What happened to me? I'm, I'm, I'm floating, floating in the air. Oh, 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 don't let me float away. Oh, get me down. Help, somebody help, Master Luke. Master Luke, quickly, help. I'm floating towards the edge of the platform. <laughs> Luke, you are the one doing this, aren't you? Hush, let him concentrate. When the force warrants, even gravity yields. This is it. No, they're releasing you. See? Remind me to ask Luke later if he can do that with dice. Gravity enfolds you again, 3PO. Gently down you come. Oh, 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 thank the Maker for some sanities returning to the laws of nature. Hey, you, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Ewoks. Untie these things and move smartly. Leia, tell the one who's untying R2 to be careful. He's still miffed about this whole thing. R2, that's enough. Well done, 3PO. Never knew I had it in me, Master Luke. You squelched the sacrifice. Now let's see if you can get the Ewoks on our side. But I'm not programmed for propaganda or political agitation, sir. We just need you to do what you do best, 3PO. Translate the words. Tell the story. Tell the story? <laughs> Why, sir, that would be a distinct pleasure. Three people can really pack a house, huh? There are representatives here from every community in the region. Got enough leg room there, too? <laughs> oh, let me rephrase that. Um, and Chenko Baskimo got me Nami Death Star. That's much more like it. Kind of handy to have a storyteller who makes his own sound effects, huh? C-3PO. I certainly am not self-aggrandizing, you intrusive little dustbin. Am I, Master Luke? You're doing fine, 3PO. Thank you. Us. Michi un Jedi, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Iman Machu Vedo con Yomno. What are they? Yes, R2, I was just coming to that. Ront, Togosh. To Ront, Togosh. Master Luke, a chimney to do. What a Millennium Falcon, a chimney, Cloud City. Us, Nutch, Vader. Han Solo, take a low carbon. Whoa, what gives? Why is this kid hugging me? Looks like you've got a fan. Okay, short stuff, but quit teething on my finger. What are they saying, 3PO? The Ewoks want to know where they fit into the story, sir. They wish their deeds against the Empire to be remembered, too. What? Myth and life are strongly intertwined for Ewoks. If I make them part of the tale, it will, in their minds, make them a part of the rebellion. Do it, 3PO. Defeating the Empire is their only hope, just as it's ours. Very good, Master Luke. Da Toto Salque Endo, New Ewoks Munturi, Jamo Fu Wicked Chabe Logra, Horo Chief Chirpa Pachka, Peach Kama Iiku, Death Star. What's going on? I don't know. An Hyasa Manor, Smother, Harukarata, Chuterato. Wonderful. Yeah. 3PO, translation, please? Chief Chirpa says that we are now a part of the tribe. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. But they could be important allies, Han. They've even got war machines. Primitive, but they could be useful. Oh, dandy. Maybe they've got a wooden turbo laser cannon. Maybe they do. You have to look beyond appearances, Han. Luke? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm okay. I just need some air. Might as well give in there, Chewie. They're not going to leave you alone till you dance. <laughs> yeah, short help is better than no help at all, pal. Oh, thanks, Wicked. It's a real honor. Thank you. Uh, Wicked is saying the Ewok Scouts are going to show us the quickest way to the Imperial Shield Generator. Good. How far is it? Uh, go on, ask him. Oh, and Granny wait, 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 wait. Where'd Luke go? He's got to hear this. 3PO, tell Wicked we need some fresh supplies, too. Shadow a man. And 3PO, try to get our weapons back. I'll go find Luke. Um, Frida. And hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Why, sir? Not that other droids you need to drive to distraction before retiring. Luke? Luke, why did you leave? What's bothering you? Leia. 
Do you remember your mother? Your real mother? Yeah, just a little bit. She died when I was very young. What do you remember? Oh, just images, really. Feelings. Tell me. She was very beautiful. Kind, but sad. Why are you asking me this? I have no memory of my mother. I never knew her. What is it, Luke? What's troubling you? Vader is here. Now, on this moon. How do you know? I feel his presence. He's come for me. He can feel it when I'm near. As long as I stay here, I'm endangering the group and our mission. I have to go. I have to face him. Why? Because... He's my father. Your father? There's more. It won't be easy for you to hear this, but you must. If I don't make it back, you're the only hope for the Alliance. Luke, don't talk that way. You have a power I... I don't understand, and I could never have... You're wrong, Leia. You have that power, too. In time, you'll learn to use it as I have. The Force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. And my sister has it. Sister? Yes. It's you, Leia. I know. Somehow, I've always known. Then you know why I have to face him. No, Luke, run away. If he can feel your presence, then leave this place. I wish I could go with you. No, you don't. You've always been strong. You were strong when you slew Jabba the Hutt to free yourself. Yes. I thought of the evil Jabba had done, and suddenly I was strong. Stronger than I'd ever been. It frightened me later, the strength I had at that moment. You see? You're the daughter of Anakin Skywalker. Darth Vader. But why must you confront him? Because... There is still good in him. I felt it. He won't turn me over to the Emperor. I can save him, I know I can. I can turn him back from the dark side of the Force. I have to do it, Leia. I think I knew that, too. I must leave now. May the Force be with you, Leia. And with you, Luke. Hey, Leia. What's going on? Nothing, Helen. I just want to be alone for a little bit. Nothing? Hey, come on. Tell me, what's the problem? I can't tell you. Could you tell Luke? Is that who you could tell? Oh, Han, I... Ah, forget I asked. No, wait. That's not how I want to leave this. I'm sorry, Leia. Just hold me on. We brought a rebel who surrendered to us at the forest perimeter. He was armed only with this lightsaber. I'll take it, Commander. The captive denies it, but I believe there may be more of them. I request permission to conduct a thorough search of the area. Permission granted, Commander. Conduct your search and bring his companions to me. Yes, my lord. The Emperor has been expecting you. I know, Father. So, you have accepted the truth. I've accepted the truth that you were once Anakin Skywalker, my father. That name no longer has any meaning for me. It is the name of your true self. You've only forgotten. I know there is good in you. The Emperor hasn't driven it from you fully. That's why you couldn't destroy me. 
That's why you won't bring me to your Emperor now. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. The Jedi skills are complete. Indeed, you are powerful as the Emperor has foreseen. Then come away with me, Father. Obi-Wan once thought as you do. You don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. I will not turn, and you'll be compelled to kill me. If that is your destiny. Search your feelings, Father. I feel the conflict within you. It is too late for me, son. I have no choice but to bring you before the Emperor. He will show you the true nature of the Force. He is your master now. There are only a few guards. This shouldn't be too much trouble. Jiba, no. Yeah, yeah, Wicked, I see it. Keep your voice down. The Ewoks were right. This back door to the bunker complex isn't nearly as well protected as the main entrance. They assure me that it does give access to the shield generator installation. Well, that's all we need. Wait, where'd our lookout go? I don't know, sir. Pepto appears to have slipped off on his own. Uh, what is it, Wicked? Well, as long as he stays out of our way. You ready, to Watch out for the guards to the left. By the speeder bikes, it only takes one to raise the alarm. Yeah, well, then we'll take him out real quiet, Mike. Weren't you saying something like that yesterday? Cute. Okay, Chewie. Oh, my! Oh, Princess Leia, look there beyond the speeder bikes. Oh, man, that blue. I'm afraid our furry little companion has gone and done something rather rash. There goes our surprise attack. He's stealing a speeder, but he can't possibly know how to fly one safely. Well, safety ain't the point of a joyride, 3 po There's the voice of experience. I don't believe it. He got the engine fired up. Oh, there he goes. He's clinging onto the handlebars for dear life. It'll be interesting to hear how he got along without using the foot pedals. Brilliant! Don't you see what he's done? He's drawn away all the sentinels but one. Not bad for a little furball. Get the commandos into position. Chewie and me will take care of the last guard. Trippio, keep out of line of fire. Line of fire? Oh. Arto, Wicked, I have decided we shall remain right here. Headquarters, any word yet on pursuit of that runaway? Excuse me, pal, is this where I sign up for the bunker tour? What? Halt! Get your hands up! No, I don't think so. Halt! Stop where you are! Freeze! Off. Drop the weapon, Private. Rebel. He's all yours, Major Gerlin. Yes, sir. Keep the prisoner covered. You two disarm him. The complex door's unlocked, Han. Okay, Major, let's go. Right. Demolition squad, prepare to move out. I want two fire teams to establish security at this point. Give me a 360-degree feel of fire centered on this airlock door. brought our new slave as you commanded, my master. Ah. Your prisoner, but not your slave, Palpatine. Welcome to my new Death Star, young Skywalker. I have been expecting you. What is thy bidding, my master? We've no further need to keep our guests' wrists shackled, do we? Would you not prefer it if your binders opened of their own accord, young man? Such a minor feat for the Emperor of the Galaxy. I look forward to completing your training. In time, you too will call me Master. You're gravely mistaken. You won't convert me as you did my father. Oh no, my young Jedi. You will find that it is you who are mistaken about a great many things. Here is his lightsaber, my master. Ah, yes. A Jedi's weapon. Very much like Anakin Skywalker's. 
By now you must know your father can never be turned from the dark side. So it will be with you. You're wrong. Soon I'll be dead, and you with me. <laughs> Perhaps you refer to the imminent attack of your rebel fleet. I... Yeah. I assure you that we here in the Death Star are quite safe from your friends. Your overconfidence is your weakness. Your naive faith in your friends is yours. It is pointless to resist, my son. Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. Your friends down there on the sanctuary moon of Endor are walking into a trap. As is your scruffy little armada. It was I who permitted the Alliance to discover the location of the defensive shield generator. You're bluffing. No. Our bunker complex is quite safe from your pitiful band of commandos. A legion of my best troops awaits them in ambush. I don't believe you. But you will. I'm afraid the deflector shield of this battle station will be fully operational when your fleet arrives. We will entrap your friends in a killing box and grind them up within it. So will end forever the rebel alliance. <laughs> Hands in the air! Hey! Get your hands away from those controls! Chewie, cover those two in the corner! Fine, the fleet will be here any minute! Major Derlin! Yes, right here, General. The clock's running out, Major. Let's do it! Demolition squad, up! Start planning your charges! Come on, security team! Disarm the prisoners! Get them up against that far wall! What happened to the droids and the Ewoks? Didn't they follow us in? I guess they stayed back at the edge of the forest. Han, if this shield isn't down when Lando and the others emerge from hyperspace, they'll be like targets in a shooting gallery. Ah, relax. We're gonna blow this place clear over the Death Star. Throw me another demo charge! Come on! Come on! I do hope that Princess and General Soto hurry up. No, I have no idea where the other Ewoks have gone. I'll ask Wicked. Need you much, you bring them up. Wicked, calm yourself. Need you on my unit. Stormtroopers? Where? Oh, my God. Imperial scout walkers. This is an ambush. The Princess and the others were recaptured, and the Rebel fleet is already on its way. Oh, this is a catastrophe. Wicked, you can't abandon us. You said the Ewoks would be loyal to the Rebel Alliance. Artu, where are you going? Wait, come back, Artu! Stay with me! Assault wing, this is Gold Leader. Prepare for emergence from hyperspace. Now! There's the Death Star, right on the mark. Need Nam take the controls while I form up the wing? Salt wing, all flight leaders report in. Red leader standing by. Gray leader standing by. Green leader standing by. Lock all S-foils in attack position. This is Admiral Akbar. Commence your approach on the Death Star. And may the force be with us. Salt wing, form up on me. What? Try again, Nin. We gotta get some kind of reading on that deflector shield, up or down. How could the Imperials be jamming us if they... Don't know we're coming. Assault wing, break off the attack. Death Star shield is still up. I get no reading, boss. Are you sure? Oh, crap. Pull up and regroup. This is Akbar. It's a trap. Our vessel's taking base of action. Green flight. Stick close to holding sector MV7. Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 47. Admiral, we got TIE fighters coming in. They're all over the place. They're boxing us in. It's all ready to attack speed. Draw them away from the cruiser. Copy, go. Yeah, I see it. Only the TIE fighters are attacking. I don't know what those Star Destroyers are waiting for. Boss, something's happening over on that Death Star. Forget it for now. We can't get at it through that deflector shield and it can't hurt us. Heads up! Heads up! Death Star is firing! Death Star took out one of the cruisers. That thing is operational. Home one, this is Gold Leader. We saw Gold Leader. All craft regroup for a general withdrawal. We won't get another chance at that battle station, Admiral. We 
have no choice. Our cruisers can't repel firepower of that magnitude. Khan will have that deflector shield down. We've got to give him more time. Come and see, young Skywalker. From here on the Death Star, we shall have an excellent view of the battle. You're not going to win, Emperor Palpatine. Oh, no. Your rebel fleet has discovered my trap, but not soon enough to save itself from annihilation. You think it is your powers that have brought us to this moment. You are mistaken. It's the Force. Indeed. The dark side. Isn't that so, Lord Vader? As you say, my master. From here, boy, you will witness the final destruction of the Alliance. No, it won't. It can't end like this. I see you looking to your lightsaber. You want it, don't you? The hate is swelling in you. Here it lies, next to my hand. Take your Jedi weapon. That would be your final triumph, wouldn't it? The dark side is the ultimate power, Luke. Look out there. Your comrades are being exterminated. Use your lightsaber, young Jedi. I am unarmed. Strike me down with it. Give in. To your anger. No! It is unavoidable. It is your destiny, young Skywalker. You, like your father, are now mine. Keep moving, you rebel trash. You there. Keep your hands behind your head. Get your hands off me. Leia, stay close to me. Rebel prisoners, halt. Stay in line and keep your hands raised. Han, we've got to do something. Yeah, well, a battalion of Imperial Scout Walkers could make that a problem. Chewie, you okay? Good, stay ready. Uh, Lando and the fleet are finished if we don't neutralize that shield generator. We're not going to be helping them if we get ourselves mowed down by the Attention, Imperials. Attention, prisoners! You are going to be transported... I say, over there... Read the ONR2. Where are you looking for me? Where did those droids come from? Get over there and take them into custody. What's going on? I don't know. Get set for anything. Grab those two droids on the hill. Yeah, either that or they got some mighty slow meteors around here. Try the bunker door. I'll see if I can spot Derlin. The access code's been changed. We need the R2-D2. Try the Conway. R2, where are you? We need you and 3PO at the bunker door right away. The strike team's pinned down. Looks like it's up to us. Old Peter, this is Red Peter. Repeat your last message. Sit closer, Wedge. Move as close as you can to those Star Destroyers and engage them at point-blank range. At that distance, we won't last long against those Dreadnoughts. We'll last longer than we would against that Death Star. We might just take a few of them with us. All fights, regroup. Close it up and stick with your wingmen. Come on, Han, old buddy. Don't let me down. on the sanctuary moon will not survive. There is no escape, my young apprentice. The battle's not over yet. Good. I can feel your anger. I am defenseless. Here, 
Take up your lightsaber. Strike me down with all your hatred. No. The hour has come for you to join us, Luke. No. And you must watch your friends. Penny! No! So, the Jedi summons his lightsaber and it flies to his heart. I won't let you kill them! Yes, you will. It's beyond your control now, Luke. I have to stop him. You will fail! No! Taught you well. I will not fight you, father. You are unwise to lower your defense. <laughs> Dodge and leave, foolish boy. There isn't enough room in the galaxy for you to avoid your fate. Your thoughts betray you, father. I feel the good in you, the conflict. There is no conflict. Come down from the catwalk! You couldn't bring yourself to kill me before, and I don't believe you'll destroy me now. Cut the catwalk out from under him, Vader. I would see the last of the Jedi brought low. You underestimate the power of the dark side, Luke. If you will not fight, then you will meet your destiny. You don't mean that, Father. I mean that. <laughs> the dark side, Luke. Never! Go after him, Vader. Bring him to ground. I will bring him to you, my master. Hurry, R2. Get that glass door open. Now or never, R2. Please permit my counterpart to concentrate, General. Stormtrooper! R2! Lousy back shooter! <laughs> Artu, you've been shot! Oh! Artu, why did you have to be so brave? I guess I could apply a little Corellian overdrive, hotwire the door. I'll cover you. How can those Ewoks hold their own against the Imperials? That's their turf and their ambush makes all the difference. Come on, Han! We're running out of time! I think I got it. Here goes! Wait! You've locked the outer shield into place over the blast door. Ah, crummy Imperial equipment! <laughs> Oh, my stars, Princess Leia! Oh. She's been shot. Where'd they get you, Leia? Sure. Freeze, Rebels! Oh, dear. Nobody move. I guess they got us. I've still got my blaster. When I give the word, out of my way fast. I love you. I know. Get on your feet. You heard the man. Ready? Now! <laughs> oh, nice play, Princess! Just a little Corellian overdrive. Uh, look out! There's a scout walker closing in on us. Don't shoot! We give up! It stopped. General Soto, I never knew you could be so persuasive. They're opening up the top turret. Look, it's Chewie! <sighs> He's captured a scout walker. <laughs> <laughs> Chewie, get down here! No, no, wait. I'm coming up there. I got an idea. Cover the bunker door with your guns. Looks like Major Durland and the Ewoks are coming to help. Fine, they can help us throw a little surprise for you. <laughs> Scout Walker 7 to Shield Control Room, come in. This is the Shield Control Room. What's your status out there? Battle's over out here, Commander. The Rebels are fleeing into the woods, but we need reinforcements. Outstanding. I'll send three squads. Unsealing the blast door now. That's very, very accommodating of you, Commander. This is a day that will long be remembered. You got that right, pal. Hold it! Nobody move! Drop your weapons and place your hands above your heads. Let's move it! Uh, uh, we give up! Major Durlin, did you recover any demolition charges? Yeah, plenty. Get your teams busy. We're on it, General. The Rebel fleet must be on the ropes by now. Yeah, but in about 60 seconds, the real party's gonna start. And we've still had no word of Master Luke. <laughs> Show your 
yourself, Luke. A Jedi does not skulk in shadowy corners. I will not fight you. Give yourself to the dark side. It is the only way you can save your friends. Never. Yes. Your thoughts betray you. Your feelings for them are strong. Especially for... For your sister. So you have a twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her too. Obi-Wan was wise to hide her from me. Now his failure is complete. You will not turn to the dark side. Then perhaps your sister will. No! Leave her alone! Cannot stop me! I must stop you! Mother! Splendid! The son has struck off the father's hand, even as the father struck off the son. Your hate has made you powerful, young Skywalker. Fulfill your destiny and take your father's place at my side. Finish him. I told you no. Why don't you strike Luke? Slay him or I'll slay you. I'll never turn to the dark side. You failed, Palpatine. I am a Jedi. Like my father before me. And the last of them. So be it, Jedi. You are at the threshold of your ultimate defeat. Throne leader, the Death Star shield is down. Commence your attack on their main reactor. Told you Han and the others wouldn't let us down. <laughs> Neen, retarget gunnery computers. Red group, gold group, all remaining fighters, form up on me. We're going in. We copy, gold leader. There's the access tunnel coming up, boss. Tighten up your formation. We're flying straight to the heart of the Death Star. We've got TIE fighters on an intercept vector. Keep them off our backs, but don't stop to engage. We have to hit that reactor. Going in, gold leader. Tight quarters in here, boss. We're just here for a short visit. Need lock onto the strongest power source you can find. It should be the reactor. Get the indolos, Daniel. Good. Keep us on that signal. <laughs> Time to roll the dice. The Death Star is doomed, Palpatine, and so is your empire. Since you will not be turned, young Skywalker. You will be destroyed. Behold the naked energies of the dark side, the lightning of pure willpower. Now, feel its fury. Slain this last Jedi, cast his body down the core shaft. No! Yes! Your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side. You now pay the price for your lack of vision! Father, help me! He is my slave, not your father. Now, young Skywalker. You will die. Father! Die! Yes! My son! Ah! Vader! Release me! Vader! I command you! Put me down! I will! Down the core shaft! 
down to your death. Vader, I am your master. Darth Vader's master, but not Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> It is over, Luke. Both lead of those tides are still with us. Red 2, peel off and take the rest of the assault wing back to the surface. Try to get those TIE Fighters and make them follow you out. Copy, Gold Leader. Glad you stick with me. I read your boss. What's up, I'm fine, Tommy. I see it, I see it. Whoa! Hey, there goes the paint job. Reactor chamber coming up. Need prepare to fire. Rigi. There's the reactor, boss. You go for the power regulator on the north tower, Wedge. I'll target the central matrix. Copy, Gold Leader. As an old pal of mine would say, let's blow this thing and go home. Steady. Fire! <laughs> on both targets, boss. Now get clear! Go! Go! When that reactor overloads, this whole place is finished. Pour it on! Pour it on! Now, go, my son. Leave me while there's still time to save yourself. No. We're taking the Emperor's shuttle together. I have to save you. You have saved me. Look. Tell your sister you were right about me. Father, I won't leave you. I'm proud of you. That you've grown into the man I want, want to be. Father. Father. Oh, no, another explosion. Surely the Death Star can't endure many more. No, nothing could. Here comes the big one. There! This is the payoff! Yes! They <laughs> did it! Oh my! The Death Star is utterly destroyed! Yes, it is. Leia, I'm sure Luke wasn't on that thing when it blew. He wasn't. You know? Mm-hmm. I can feel it. You love him, don't you? Well, yes. Fine. I understand. When he comes back, I won't get in your way. Han, he's my brother. Brother? <sighs> you, then, then you were. Well, then Luke. Luke isn't. Why the... don't you stop worrying about Luke and talk about yourself? Me? And about the way uh, you feel about me? About how there aren't enough scoundrels in my life? Look, Leia. When this war's over, you go back to being an alliance leader, and I go back to being a guy with a starship for hire. A princess and a smuggler, the odds against the two of us making Han? a coup. Huh? Han, never tell me the odds. Just kiss me.
Uh, pardon me, Master Luke, but the Ewoks' victory celebrations will be starting momentarily. I'll be right along, 3PO. But first, you are going to light Lord Vader's funeral. That is your father's funeral, Piazza. What could be more fitting? It's a night of lights, Ewok victory fires, rebel fireworks, even the last pieces of the Death Star burning up in the atmosphere. Put that way, Master Luke. It does sound appropriate. I burn his armor, and with it the name of Darth Vader. May the name of Anakin Skywalker be a light that guides the Jedi for generations to come. Master Luke, General Calrissian and the others are due at any moment. I'll be right along. Rest well, Father. The Force is with you. kept your word. What? Not a scratch, you said. You'd bring back the Falcon without a scratch yeah, on they're, they're here, Well, Luke. nothing that's left on her is scratched. All the scratched parts got knocked off along the way. Knocked off? Oh, Han, <laughs> buck up. Here come Luke and 3 And look, R2, D2, and fully functional again. Oh, R2, when I tell the Ewoks the story of today's events, I shall give you full credit for helping me accomplish my mission. <laughs> What do you mean, you were the one who saved the day? All you managed to do was to get your circuits right when you... I'm sure there'll be enough acclaim for everyone. Oh, I heartily agree with you, sir. Luke, hmm. sorry to hear about your father. Thanks, Lando. But take a deep breath. That's freedom in the air. Come on! The party's starting! Yeah, that's for me. Chewie, grab us a good spot. You ready, Luke? Be right along, Han. Don't be long, brother. Han has to explain how he wants to make you an uncle. What? Hey, hey now, wait a second. Let's go, Han. Uncle? I never said... Well, you never told me that... <laughs> nobody mentioned anything Oh, about stop it. worrying. We'll make it up as we go along. Pardon me, Master Luke, but may I ask why you are staring into the darkness? What are you looking at? Not what, 3PO? Who? Don't you see them? Three comrades in arms. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Master Yoda, and Anakin Skywalker. My photoreceptors must be malfunctioning, sir. I don't see anything. But they're here. Their fire is back in the universe. Let it burn, high and bright, to be seen by friend and foe. The Jedi have returned. <laughs> Star Wars Return of the Jedi by Brian David. Based on characters and situations created by George Lucas and on the screenplay by Lawrence Kasdan and George Lucas. Featured in the cast were Anthony Daniels as C-3PO, David Burney as Anakin Skywalker, Joshua Farden as Luke Skywalker, Ari Gross as Lando Calrissian, Paul Hecht as the Emperor, Perry King as Han Solo, John Matthews as Wedge, Brock Peters as Darth Vader, Mark Adair Rios as Admiral Akbar, Anne Sachs as Princess Leia, and Tom Virtue as Major Derlin. Also heard in the series were Samantha Bennett, Ian Gomez, Rick Hall, Andy Hawks, Sherman Howard, Carl Johnson, John Capelos, Ron LaPaz, Joe Liss, Paul Mercier, Stephen Petrarca, Jonathan Penner, Gil Siegel, Nia Vardalis, and Ron West. This is Ken Hiller. Star Wars Return of the Jedi was directed by John Madden and produced by Tom Vagley. The co-producer was Julie Hartley. Sound design for Lucasfilm by Ben Burt. Music by John Williams. Post-production was realized with assistance from Tom Mudge and John Scherf by Tom Vagley. Star Wars Return of the Jedi was produced by Highbridge Audio in association with Tom Vagley Productions and L.A. Theatre Works 
and with the cooperation of Lucasfilm Limited. This production is dedicated to the memory of Brian Daly.